We're doing a brand new game without my mods. All right, let's go. All right, let's get under manage households, other, I need not in the world, and for Ember. Here we go. Let's take a look at you, Morgan. Wow! Yo! Nice. Okay, so they then pronouns are selected in here. This is nice to see. What a pleasant surprise. Obviously, like, it's been pretty headcanon of most people, I would say, that Morgan Ember was non-binary, given their, like, reproductive things being set to neither, and their clothing Scoop preference being the set top. to feminine when they have, like, more masculine Sweet. features otherwise. But with the pronoun update, it defaulted the Sims that were pre-made into having whatever their assigned sex was, so Morgan was using he, him pronouns until this update came. I am pleasantly Sweet surprised that the Sims team bothered to go back and do this. Okay, I can't listen to your animation anymore, Morgan. But as I was trying to say, I would have expected the need for like a full refresh of characters before we would get pronoun changes, just because of the way like the Calientes, the Goths were dealt with. But this is pretty sick. But if I go into like an old save file and find Morgan here, we can see that they don't have any pronouns selected. So this acts very similar to the refreshes of the Goths and Calientes, where it's obviously only taking place into new save files that happen after this. So any save files that were made after September 5th in 2023. The other pre-made sims that are usually headcanoned as being non-binary are Leah Hauta, and Paka Uha from Island Living, who neither of them have been updated with having pronouns at all. Um, as well as I know Darling Walsh from City Living can be some people's headcanon as well. Again, not, none of these three Sims were given any pronouns, so they're just defaulting to whichever uh, sex they were assigned in Create a Sim. I do think that there was a little bit more of a case for Morgan Ember previously as to why people had headcanons for them being non-binary. So it's not shocking for me to see that these other Sims were not updated to have they them pronouns. It'd be cool if there were other sims that got updated to have they them pronouns as well. Even if they didn't have any custom gender settings when they were made, it'd be cool to see some of the ones that look more binary in the game to actually have they them pronouns, since obviously non-binary people don't need to have some sort of customized gender characteristics in order to be non-binary or use they them pronouns. Outside of these four gender non-conforming sims, the sims team has actually been doing a really great job adding more trans representation into the game officially, including two canon transgender sims that are included in Growing Together and a non-binary sim that was included in Horse Ranch. If you want to learn more about those transgender sims, you can click on my other videos here.